the backstage pass, stage 10, from Baden Cook. And uh, today we've got a fairly nasty stage on the cards. We go up the Col de la Colombier, which is uh, very nasty. Hopefully we're not too tired. Uh, we had a good rest day yesterday. Um, had a bit of a chill out, a uh, bit of a roll on the bike. I cleaned up in poker, had a massage, so hopefully we're ready to go. Feel good after the time trial on the rest day. It's been uh, had a pretty quiet couple of days. So um, yeah, raring to go for the second half of the race now. So guys, today we are in Macon. It's in between Lyon and Beaune. If you like the easy and quiet vacation, you can come here because you've got the possibility to rent a, a river boat and cross all the country by this boat and uh, it's fantastic. It's also the part of France where we, we cook the famous uh, Boeuf Bourguignon. I know, I'm pretty sure you know that. <laughs> G'day everyone and welcome back to the Tour de France. We're out on the roads today and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about fan etiquette along the roads. It's uh, something very, very important. You know, every year something seems to happen. There's a few incidents and, and it, inevitably a fan gets the blame for a, for a crash and uh, holding someone up or, you know, giving someone a bump on the head. But, you know, I don't really blame the fans. I, I, I don't think it's their fault. I think it comes down to a lack of information. You know. I just want to see everyone do the right thing, the riders be safe, the fans have a good time and you know, everybody's happy. I'm, I'm a real people person, I'm a real man of the people. Hey mate, you keep out of me shot, bloody people. Far out. So if you're here at the Tour de France and you're thinking, I'd like an authentic souvenir, you're thinking, I'll go stand in the feed zone, get a, I don't know, used bidden or a half eaten power bar. Don't stand in the feed zone, stand on the other side of it when they go out. That's where they're throwing off the souvenirs. And let's face it, do you want someone coming standing in the middle of your dinner table? There's plenty of obstacles out on the road for the riders, roundabouts, traffic islands. Fans, don't make yourself one. If you're going to come to the tour, don't bring the dog. They hate thunderstorms, they hate pelotons, they cause accidents. Leave them at home, give them a bone. If you're trying to ride the course, do it a long time before the race, at least four hours, and then get off. Out along the course, do whatever these people tell you, the gendarmes, the French police. Even if they don't look real strong, I'll tell you what, they got something that's going to make you do what they want. Another very important part of being a fan at the Tour de France is getting your vehicle dressed up. Aussie flags, boxing kangaroos, blow up kangaroos, you name it, put it on there, and getting yourself dressed up. You know, fluoro, zinc, hats, flags, all sorts of stuff. Budgie smugglers, optional. So if you're bringing your kids to the tour, number one, have a good time, but keep it safe. Keep your kids in off the road, a lot of vehicles moving about, riders going very fast, kids are small and hard to see, keep them on a leash. So a very important thing about being a fan of the tour is finding a place to stand and see the race come past. Ideal spot, on a mountain, riders coming past nice and slow, You've seen the budgie smugglers further down the mountain. We all prefer a hottie in a bikini. <laughs> Hello, darling. I'm from Australia. Oi, oi, oi! Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Come on, man. Ow, sh! Ah! Ah! Something. Woo! Is it those from the stones? What? Ah, ah. That burns? Or a bee? What no, is it? I hope not a bee. Eh? In my shirt, man. I think it's a bee. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Give him the bottle and I'm gonna stop to take it out, man. So another part of being a fan at the tour, dressing up your caravan, all that sort of stuff, or your camper, making signs, choose your favourite rider, choose your favourite team, uh, there's, there's only one team by the way, make a sign, I mean this, this example up here, fantastic, the colour, the spelling's right, it's just giving all the right messages, then you've got other people 
who sort of, you know, they're, they're having a go, but it's just not right. Ah, shit, man. No, oh. I have it. Ah. Oh, he bite me in my shoulder. Oh. Another one. Oh, it's the, the same one. It's strange. Wait. Is it inside the shirt? Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Can you keep my, my yeah. yeah, man. Oh, I have to stop. Where's the uh no, no, Yeah, it just fell out, it just fell out. I just saw it fall out. You want me to drive for a bit, mate? No, no, it's okay, it's okay, but you bitch. Oh it's red? It's coming red? Not that much. So my number one tip for coming to the tour as a fan, grab your bike, ride one of the big mountains, feel what the riders feel, really get into it. And if you follow all these tips I've given you today, you're sure to have a cracker of a day. These people have followed the last tip, and guess what? You're going to the VIP! <laughs> Twenty kilometers away it cannot be forty minutes, man. No, 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 no problem at all. No. Twenty kilometers away is going to be uh, twenty-seven well, minutes. It's all downhill. Yeah. Pretty warm out there. Uh, brake went fairly early with Sargon, and I actually, to be honest, didn't know for the first, you know, 10, 15 k's, and we we got the information that he was out there, and I knew it was pretty important for me to try and jump in the next move, and uh, you know, I can't let him just slink away and take. 20 points without in me contesting it so I jumped in the brake and to be honest it worked for perfection the sprint we we got through to that and uh, I managed to win the sprint with someone else who tacked onto my wheel which put another place between us which is a uh, five point difference so you know we're back down to I think 27 28 odd points now well that's a wrap I'm backstage pass stage 10 of the Tour de France the first uh, high mountain stage of the tour and uh, it was a successful day for us we uh, we had to keep an eye on old Peter Sagan there tried to slip off the front and take some intermediate sprints and in the end the uh, the boys brought back the break he was in, and then we went in another one with uh, with Gossie and Gero, and uh, beat him for beat him. <coughs> uh, Gossie was first, and he was third, so it took another five points back. So we're slowly, slowly chipping away at uh, Sargon's lead, and then uh, yeah, then the winning break went away from there. And Gossie uh, Gero wasn't on a super day today, so he's saving his energy for a stage that's more suited to his characteristics later in the tour. Hope you enjoyed uh, backstage pass stage ten, and the winner of the retweet your tweet competitions, Benny Kirby. You got a uh, signed t-shirt by the boys coming your way. See you tomorrow.